All right, we're on a quest here at CBS 42 to find the best places to get great food in Central Alabama. In this Taste of Alabama segment, Nate Harrington tries to discover the barbecue that gets the seal of approval from our viewers. As Alabamians, you have to pick. You have to have a favorite. No, not this. This. Whether it's chicken, pulled pork, ribs, sausage, there are tons of places you can get delicious barbecue in central Alabama. But we listened to you and we wanted to know your favorites. So we hit the road to find out who has the best barbecue in the area. Our first stop, Maplesville and Herd's Barbecue. This is my office, man. Most people got cubicles. I got a pit. I got a pit. And we just started out just cooking um, for friends and we would just pretty much just give food away just because I love to cook so much. So you got smoked sausage, you got brisket, I got some ribs, I got some pulled pork, potato salad, also important, and baked beans too. There is no way I'm gonna eat them. No way. The job that I had, I was I was I would cook at night and take food for everybody's lunch break. The CEO of the company came to me and he was like, look. I know this is a dream of yours. I was working for a food distributor, matter of fact. So he kind of just gave me the green light to say, you know, if you want to go, go try this, go ahead and do it, and your job will be safe when you come back. Oh, man. Mm. The process that, that goes into it is time consuming, but then the reward comes when you see somebody sit down and actually enjoy, or the biggest compliment that I get is somebody tell me that's the best thing they ever ate in their life. Good. We go from Hertz Barbecue in Chilton County up I-65 to Johnny's Barbecue, a staple in Coleman. We uh, traced it all the way back to 1949, uh, and Johnny Graves was the original owner. My dad purchased it in 1963 from, from him, and uh, we've owned it ever since for, what is that, 56 years, family owned and operated. I got to do this first. We're getting that. We got ribs. Chicken, catfish, just about, just about everything, you name it. These are wonderful. I think the key to, to it is the sauce. And, and when Dad bought the restaurant, he had to purchase the recipe for the sauce. Everybody makes a different type of sauce, but, but when you've grown up on something, it's, you want to come back to it. Everybody in Coleman usually has their Johnny's Day. Basically, they pretty much you can count on them every week. One more bite. We end our barbecue road trip in Bessemer at the historic Bob Sykes. It's just very old school. Yeah, just very, it's just nothing has really changed here. This family's had a pit of barbecue ready to sell Monday through Saturday for 62 years uh, without missing a day. You want me to do a tray of desserts for you over here too? Or? I'm preparing. You need to have a little bit more. The sauce isn't too much. You, you can still taste the pork. It's, it's awesome. Now, you, my daddy is smiling right now because what he, where's what he said? I don't want that sauce to cover up all the work oh. I've been doing on the grill. So what you just said right there is, oh, just, yeah. is really magic to me because that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. What this really becomes is uh, uh, the art of fire, the art of smoke, and the art of heat. I, I eat all of it. All of it. <laughs> well, you know what you're doing. That's exactly what I do when I get through with it. We call it cleaning the bone. <laughs> oh, you can't, you can't leave, you can't leave anything on turn. Man, talk about a tough assignment, Nate. <laughs> you know what? I, I took one for the team. I, I drew the short straw, so to speak. No, no. I, each one of those places had its own character. I, I love to tell the stories of these yeah. of these places because yeah. it's really the story behind it. They all love barbecue, but you know the history behind uh, mm -hmm. Bob Sykes and Johnny's, and then Herd's Barbecue down in Maplesville. All these places, if you live in different parts of Central Alabama, they're all worth the drive. And there's tons of places I wasn't able to get to. Wow. I just wish I had a little bit more time. It goes to show that <laughs> Alabama really has some good barbecue. Oh, it's, I mean, it's some of the best in the, in the world. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mace, okay. thank you. And coming up at 5 o'clock, our Taste of Alabama series continues. We're taking a look at what restaurants have the best meat and three. Your time now is 12-12.